I'm thinking about an athlete at the gym that's holding a 4 kg steel ball in his hand. His arm is 70 centimeters long and has a mass of 4 kilograms. What is the magnitude of torque about his shoulder if he holds, holds his arm straight out to the side parallel to the floor? So let's get right to it. Let's draw what this athlete is doing. This athlete is extending his arm and holding out a steel ball of 4 kilograms. We're asking, what is asked of us is what is the torque about his shoulder? And we are told that his hand weighs 4 kilograms. So there are two torques going on here. We have torque 1 and torque 2. For torque 1, we'll deal with the ball. So we know his, um, his hand, the distance uh, from his shoulder to, to the steel ball, where his hand is, is given to us as uh, 70 centimeters. So that's 0 0.7 meters. So that's the radius. So we'll do torque 1 of the ball equals to RF sine theta. We'll do R1 F1 sine theta. And torque 2 equals his hand, the torque of his hand. So the center of gravity of his hand is at uh, half, half the length. So it'll be at 0.35 centimeters. So R2 F2 sine theta. So when we add these two torques up, we'll get the torque at his shoulder. So torque total equals torque 1 plus torque 2. So our torque 1 is R1 F1 sine theta. That's 0.7 and our F is our mass times the acceleration due to gravity of the ball so that's um, so F is mass times acceleration so that will be 4 times 9.8 sine theta is just sine of 90 which is 1 plus our torque 2 which is R2 this will be half because the center of gravity of his hand is at half the length of his hand that's 0 0.35 half of 0.7 is 0.35 F2 is 4, because that's the mass of his hand, times 9.8. So we'll add these two together. So point, point 0.7 times 4 times 9.8 is 27.44 plus 0.35 into 4 into 9.8 is 13.72. You add these two together and what do we get? So our total torque is approximately 41 newton meters when he is extending his arm out straight. That means the sine of sine of theta is 90. But the next part of the question asks us let me zoom in here for you. What is the magnitude of torque about his shoulder if he holds his arm straight, not straight, but 60 degrees below the horizontal? So he's holding his arm 60 degrees. So he's, his shoulder is here, right? Um, he's holding his, and the ball is here, 4 kilograms. And this is the horizontal, and this is 60 degrees. So basically what we need to do is just take these values that we just got 27.44 and 13.72 and add uh, cosine theta to them so we'll do uh, torque total is equal to 27.44 cosine of 60 plus 13.72 cosine of 60 because nothing has changed his arm is remaining the same length the, the mass of the steel ball is 4 kilograms. So we're asking what is the torque about a shoulder when it's now 60 degrees. So um, the acceleration, uh, the component of gravity doesn't act, um, is not as strong as when you're holding the ball straight with, it, with an outstretched arm. When you're holding it at an angle, the component of um, gravity that acts on you is is diminished somewhat so we'll do that so so that cosine of 60 is what cosine of 60 is half so we'll we'll, we'll have these values so 60 
27.44 divided by 2 is 13.72 um, and 13.72 divided by 2 is 6.86 so we'll add these two together and we end up with an approximate torque when the angle of your hand is 60 degrees to the horizontal the torque on your shoulder is 21 newton meters and there you have it